time now for Ask the Expert. Hurricane Harvey dominating headlines over the past few days, and we've all seen pictures and videos of family pets among the devastation. So how do you prepare your pets for an emergency? Yes, yeah, so joining us this afternoon is Rachel Lejeune with the Wisconsin Humane Society. But first, we have to say, who is this cutie? Yes, this is Sadie, and she's a four-month-old female available up at our Ozaki and Cabins in Sockville. So um, she's only four months old, but well on her way to, um, you know, walking loosely on leash. She's a great blend of playfulness as well as being very affectionate and loving. So I think she's going to be a great match for a family looking for, you know, a playful little puppy to, to start some training. And well, She uh, at least knows how to pose for the camera. Oh, yeah. yeah she's yeah, being so, she's you are being so good. Well, is she? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. let's talk about, um, we've seen the pictures as Katie mentioned, what should people do to prepare for a natural disaster, especially yes. when it comes to their pets? Yeah, well most importantly we want to plan to be gone for a couple of weeks. You know, oftentimes you think it's just a brief absence, um, but really it's important to think about being gone for several weeks. So we say um, have an emergency kit planned, um, an evacuation pack for both you and your pets. Mm -hmm. um, really put a couple of those essentials in there. Um, food for three to seven days for your pets, dry or canned, um, bottled water water, enough for seven days. Um, dishes, of course, um, you want to have extra leashes and collars in case one that you have breaks. Um, have enough carriers and make sure they're accessible too. You don't want to be digging through the garage, you know, when you mm -hmm. need to leave. Um, having enough carriers for your for your cats and small animals as well. Um, if you have three cats and you have one carrier, you know, definitely consider getting multiple. And there might be some watching this and saying, wow, like I have to go get a lot of stuff. Do you yeah. have to necessarily buy it? Or? No, you can definitely, you know, go to the dollar store, find, you know, a second you know, secondhand items. Um, you know, of course, we're using our, our dishes and, and essentials on a daily basis. So have a pack that's supplied with all these, but go to the dollar store for Tupperwares, um, you know, waterproof containers that you can put food in. Or um, again, we also say, you know, photocopies of your medical records um, so that you have those on hand. She's very affectionate. <laughs> uh, photocopies of your medical records as well as pictures of you and your pets together, um, you know, for identification purposes. Sure. And these are all great tips, but if there was just one thing you mm -hmm. could leave our viewers with, what is that one thing when it comes to an emergency that you want to make sure you yeah do? definitely identification um, we know you know based on previous hurricanes that um, you know 15 to 20 percent of animals were reunited with their families which is seems like a small percentage but um, definitely to, to increase that and to be prepared um, have ID tags on on their collars with their name and your up-to-date phone number um, as well as microchipping uh, we microchip all of our animals cats dogs um, at the Humane Society to ensure that they are microchipped um, and a micro chip is just, you know, it's an inexpensive form of a permanent identification um, that if they do get lost, they can be reunited with their families and it won't ever fall off like a collar or a tag can. So yeah. all really important advice. Yes. Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, if you've got a question for our experts, you can always email them at ask the expert at today's TMJ4. The number is 967 5253 if you'd like to make a call.